security uh, reporting contents in detail and what are the various reporting tools and how we can integrate with the fusion applications and how can how we can embed in otb and fusion applications and what are the new features in otb as we'll see <clears throat> here otb reports are you know real time self service and user reporting tool for fusion applications real time means whatever data is there you know ad hoc base we can easily uh, uh, get from you know from otb analysis self service even end user also if you provide a minimal training to the end user the end user also does have an a capability to uh, build their own analysis you know it's a seamlessly integrated with fusion application support fusion extensions nothing but we can get dff and you know kff fields also from your otb analysis and fully leverage oracle business intelligence enterprise edition so indirectly this otb concept otb reporting tool is integrated with our you know business intelligence uh, tool whatever we are developed bip reports and this otb reports the both are integrated with an you know, business intelligence and this business intelligence uh, tool is integrated with our saas application so whatever features are there uh, especially for otba the complete features are adapted to our saas applications by using business intelligence enterprise edition if anybody if anybody does have a knowledge on with this obe ie technology obe ie technology then they can easily understand some you know uh, some concepts of this otba if you see some of the features real time business intelligence easy of use we can easily integrate with fusion applications highly interactive consistent semantic model and extensible here real time business intelligence nothing but ad hoc analysis using obi platform and easy of use a rich library of delivered content folder structure similar to fusion apps in our uh, shared folders we do have folder structure right shared folder and custom and financials whatever it be the same structure here also we can maintain for our otb reports same folder structure so wherever uh, we are creating the reports in gp2 uh, reports right in the same folder we can uh, you know uh, save our reports related to our otba components the pre built calculated measures here pre built calculated measures means for example if you want to uh, if you want to calculate a person salary or if you uh, want to calculate total invoice amount so in generally in our uh, bap reports what we'll do just we'll try to apply some some function right we'll try to use aggregate functions in order to perform calculations so here oracle is provided whatever amount related columns are there for those oracle is provided pre built calculated methods just we can drag and drop you know amount related columns into our selection criteria so that we can easily get your amounted fields amounted data which is calculated and we need a minimal configurations in order to work with our otb reports and integration with fusion applications if you observe uh, when we connect our fusion applications very first time we could see some of the dashboards right some of the you know uh, see here and highly interactive interact highly interactive is nothing but you know uh, we do have alerts and an you know, action frameworks are available for otb reports alerts is nothing but based on the conditions we will send an email notification to respect to recipients the action framework is nothing but uh, just we can drill down the reports drill down otb reports for example when you click on any supplier i want to the supplier site details indirectly for the supplier we are we are enabling one of the hyperlink so when you click on that hyperlink it will drill down to your supplier sites the way we can drill down to n number of levels in the same way the context passed between fusion applications and ba so this is uh, you are developed one of the gl analysis uh, otba okay you are developed one of the gl otba analysis there we could see journal name journal batch and something journal related some of the columns so when you when i click on a journal name or when i click on journal batch i want to see those journal details in our application so indirectly when you click on the journal name okay we are implementing a drill down feature which is the context passed between your fusion applications and ba so it will open your a uh, journal in your ui when you click on the journal name <coughs> the way oracle is provided some of the uh, context between you know uh, receivables payables and journals fixed assets for some of the application is or for some of the application oracle is provided those features 
that is we'll see very in detail and you know consistent semantic model trees hierarchy is propagated to ba from fusion applications unified definitions of key entities customer invoice state account etc stars with common dimensions stars with diamond common dimensions nothing but before 19d they have this feature after 19d they are removed this you know indication also which is common dimensions and extensible architected to seamlessly leverage fusion apps concept concepts like you know flex fields trees security multi language support those we can you know implement uh, we can apply here uh, <clears throat> here security is nothing but again uh, whatever subject area job roles for subject uh, for otba uh, for otba also we need you know job roles just we need to assign those job roles against the job roles will segregate the duty roles in the duty roles will segregate again whatever subject area you want okay those we can assign to the respective users so that is we'll see you know come across and the flex fields flex field yesterday i have shown one of the screen right when you create any dff first we need to enable at the business intelligence section we need to enable ba enable checkbox after enabling the checkbox we need to run import extend fusion extensionable some one of the esa job is there when you uh, invoke the esa job it will take some minimal time and the metadata will reflect to your business intelligence server then we are able to see your flex fields whatever you have configured those flex fields you could say it will be available here something you know uh, the complete ba architecture not only otba here if you see here if you see here ba view objects and fusion application transactional database here yeah, transactional database is nothing nothing but directly we are connecting to the table and fetching the data from the table indirectly select start from pvg suppliers that is transactional database ba view objects is nothing but just a moment here yeah, a ba view objects is nothing but you know same as our uh, oaf concept right if anyone does a uh, familiar with this a oaf concept we do have view objects right view objects nothing but uh, we can use a single select statement or we can use you know a multi table select statement in order to get the data from the select statement so that select statement will create as a view object so that if, if you refer that view object anywhere you can get the data against your select statement so here also especially for the otba reports oracle is provided you know a rich library content of view objects predefined view objects for each business entity here again business entity or an application is nothing but whether it could be payables receivables suppliers and your you know fixed assets whatever it may be for all the applications oracle is provided a rich library content for us by using those content we can develop our otba analysis okay by you you all so, uh, i think the, uh, we are not passing directly to the fusion applicational database yes correct view object right correct yeah or already oracle is integrated with this view object with our fusion application database we are not using okay. any way our database concept especially for the otba whereas for bap reports just we are connecting to our database and uh, trying to write our sql statements over there correct so what are the differences means uh, uh, where the ba reports will be applicable and where the otba reports will be both are in different way or some the same way uh, for example if you are uh, written one of the select statement like pvg supplier and pvg supplier site b and trying to fetch you know uh, segment 1 and vendor site code let's assume you have created one of the view objects uh, by using the select statement which is supplier vivo so okay. when you refer this supplier vivo then you are able to access segment 1 supplier number and your supplier site code right yeah yeah if you refer anywhere in your application this view objects you can use you can access those two view objects in the same way oracle also created like this n number of view objects and these view objects are are integrated with your fusion database right so uh, i think where the view object would be not available in any cases might be Uh, so yeah at that uh, time we have to use the bi report yes correct if uh, not the uh, bi report uh, for example if otba report does not meet your business requirement okay then obviously you can go for bi reports and the use cases when the otba report is does not meet your business requirement 
so most of the time most of the times and as my knowledge otb whatever bap report does have the same job can do for the this otb report also but otb report doesn't have any custom layout concept if you want custom layout concept or if you want custom layout then you can use this otb report into your bap reports and you can develop custom layout over there for that future only we can use this otb reports into bap reports other than whatever otb reports are uh, performing the same logic we can perform for bap also but in otb reports we can get real time data and uh, some more uh, features if you see for otb reports we cannot perform the complex logics we can perform a minimal logics only again if you want to perform the more logics on your you know specific columns or uh, some business requirement is not achievable then obviously you can go for bap report so i think the uh, for just uh, for my understanding i'm thinking the view object is kind of a java class which is defined here and we are using for the our reporting purpose right correct correct exactly okay so this is complete real time queries okay which is real time reporting otba layer here here they are providing some content 300 plus embedded analytics 300 plus reports 4000 plus metrics and otba covers 35 plus fusion products i think but oracle is providing uh, we can get the data from 35 plus fusion applications day by day they are enhancing this you know uh, feature also and supports highly aggregated trending and real time transaction listing from a single query model and bi view objects are single source of truth for bi represents facts and dimensions facts and dimensions facts is nothing but you know uh, calculated columns again if anyone does have any knowledge on obi technology they are very familiar with this facts and dimensions Okay, we will say this come across what is the facts and what is the dimension and how can we identify these in our you know otb area and implement fusion data security we can apply job rules and all and handle multi language support so here this is in generally a obi technology uh, semantic layer obi technology not especially for the otb otb technology obi technology in obi technology we do have three layers presentation a logical and physical layer these layers are automatically connections you know connecting to our fusion application web logic server directly it is connecting to our fusion data bus with help of our web logic server here whatever presentation layer is there the presentation layer does have you know all your otb content now we are referring this presentation layer only here this is presentation layer which is otb presentation catalog in generally a subject area nothing but it's a kind of folder here if you see compensation salary details work time which is one of hcm related subject area which contains salary details of the person it's kind of one of the folder which is subject in the subject area we do have dimensions attributes facts and measure columns dimensions nothing but again the folders okay under folders we do have attributes okay even though each folder does have child folders also and child folder does have you know attributes again for example here compensation salary details real time subject area does have in a folder hr action reason and here we could see action reason code action reason end date and start date these are these are the attributes when you select action reason code immediately you will get the data whatever uh, action reason codes are available against the table the way here worker assignment manager job department business unit let's assume i want worker details job details department details business unit details and action reason details and some salary details okay so by using the subject area with a minimal time you can easily get this column values whatever you know we are expecting and let's think for the same columns if you write a bap report how many tables you want to use and how many tables you know you need to join in order to get this uh values like work person name person job person department person business unit and this you know salary components and salary definitions and what is the legal employer so here we can straight forward easily we can expand our folders and we can select our target attribute just drag and drop to our selection criteria so that we can easily get the data which is real time data the way oracle is provided 35 plus fusion products subject areas for each application this is one of hcm 
for suppliers we do have suppliers and suppliers real time <coughs> here we do have some you know uh, yellow color symbol representation is if you are observed here new salary annualized salary these are we are called as you know fact as measure columns here quartile and something you know columns are available these are facts and measures nothing but these are calculated columns when you uh, get any person okay let's assume you are uh, referring one of the person 1001 1001 person if you want to refer new salary and annualized salary then in your reserve set in your reserve set you could see your uh, you know calculated values over there what is annualized salary and what is your new salary proposed salary you could see the way for each subject area we do have facts and method columns if you see invoice there we could see invoice header amount invoice line amount the complete total amounts we could see in a separate folder okay here the presentation catalog organize fusion data in easy to understand function subject areas this is function subject area otba subject areas all all are ends with real time so whatever otba subject areas there the suffix to be real time so that you can identify this is one of the otba subject area and subject areas are secured by fusion application security the same kind of you know job roles we can apply for all our subject areas